Hi, it's Jo from Gestational Diabetes UK. Colostrum harvesting is something I get asked about all the time. It's very beneficial to babies born to diabetic mothers. Um, you can see lots of videos online of how to harvest colostrum and the technique for expressing breast milk. However, when it comes to colostrum, it can be really tricky and you may only get tiny beads of colostrum. I know I did when I tried. Because of this, it can be really tricky to try and get the colostrum into the actual syringe to harvest. And so I wanted to make a video showing you how I managed to get colostrum into the syringes when I did it. My first tip is to ensure you've got really good syringes. So I've got an example of two different syringes here. One is a one mil BD plastic pack syringe and it has a much finer tip. And the other one is a Medicina 1 mil oral syringe. As you can see, this has a much wider tip and these are so much better for colostrum harvesting. Um, it's really tricky trying to get the colostrum into this tiny little hole. So if you can, try and get these wider ones. And you want to go for 1 mil syringes because babies only need very small top-up feeds. You don't want to waste any colostrum once it's defrosted. And so 1 mil syringes are the perfect size, even if you are lucky enough to get lots of colostrum. Just freeze lots of um, 1 mil or maybe 2 mil syringes. Anything bigger and you might have colostrum going to waste. So you don't want that. So I'm going to show you my technique with some fake colostrum as an example. So you might get a tiny bead, much smaller than this actually. Um, and what you want to do is get your sterile clean syringe, pop it over the bead and gently pull the plunger back. And what you'll see is a tiny little amount will go into the syringe. Now, you don't want to lose that. If you push the plunger back up, it's going to come right out the end. I've done that a few times and lost colostrum. So pull it, the plunger back and it will suck back in. And then gently push up until the air is released. And then you can go again. So pull back very gently so that you're just sucking these little tiny drops of colostrum. And the other thing to do is flick the syringe and you'll see this the colostrum will gently fall down the syringe okay i'm just going to add a little bit more so you'd be expressing this from your breast and then you're going to catch a tiny drip and just pull back and flick and that ensures it all goes down into the syringe. Pull the plunger back and it'll go a bit lower. If you need to release some of the air, push the plunger up very gently, very slowly. And if you get air bubbles at the top here, just let them pop very gently, but do not press too hard as it will all just spill out. So that's what you do. You just keep going and keep going and get as much of that liquid gold as you can into the syringe. When you're done, you're going to label your syringe with a hospital label, just wrap it round so that the information can be displayed. And then you're going to freeze it, ideally with caps on the syringes. Um, and you can stand them upright in a cup or a container in your freezer this way so that um, it prevents any leakage while they're freezing. I hope that helps people. Thank you. Bye.